the, uh, the students who are graduating today are not only joining the alumni of the Zaragoza Logistics Center, but they are joining the alumni of the entire scale network. The centers in Massachusetts, in the United States, in Bogota, in Colombia, in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, where I'm just coming from. We just had the uh, commencement ceremony two days ago, trying to remember the time, in Kuala Lumpur. It's now over a thousand strong set of alumni. It is particularly important to join such a strong network because logistics and supply chain management by the very nature are international professions. And we now have people and networks spread all over the world in almost every significant city around the globe. Let me first of all explain a little bit, mostly to the parents around, what is supply chain management about and what it is that we are trying to teach here. Today, very few companies are so-called vertically integrated. They do everything themselves. The last such company who did most of it was Ford Motor Company in the turn of the century. Today, most companies are based, are using suppliers, who they have suppliers, who have in turn other suppliers. So it's a whole network. When you build, for example, when General Motors has to build a car, some, some other company builds the seats for them, and for that company, some company supplies the cloth, and some other company supplies the cotton, and somebody grows the cotton. So it's a whole set of supplier and their supplier and their supplier. And a large company will have thousands and tens of thousands of suppliers, and they'll have supplier and they'll have suppliers. So it's a huge network that has to be managed with at the lowest cost, at the best level of service. It involves technology, it involves innovation, it involves relationship among companies. And herein lies the importance of the profession that you guys chosen and now really joining. This is the real, a lot of the real um, competitive advantage is in supply chain management. Why do I say this? People think that uh, it's product innovation, and in some areas, like in uh, pharmaceutical, when there is patent, uh, patent protection, you do have product innovation that uh, is the major uh, source of competitive advantage. In most other areas, it's not. People look at Apple, Stephen Jobs was mentioned, people look at Apple as the, one of the most innovative company, yet it took Samsung about six months to come up with a competitive product and now have actually a larger market share than Apple. So that one of the main sources of competitive advantage lies in building a supply chain or a supply network that can deliver from the far edges of the earth to every store in every country on time, at low cost, consistently every time. This is not a small achievement and it's not easy to do. And the company who builds it, who builds a network that can do it, creates a competitive advantage that is not easy to overcome in six months. It takes years to build a network like this and to develop the processes and the technology and the relationship to manage it well. You guys are joining this fraternity of people who know how to do it. And you will become better at it as you go along. So I would like to congratulate you again and from MIT being my best wishes and hope for tremendous success in the future. Thank you very much.